Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. Sign up for a one-week free trial, no credit card required, for access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Hey everyone, checking in on XLK, Apple, and Facebook on the daily weekly time frame. So the bulls are still very strong, closing up near the highs. Bull MACD cross is close to following through, and we have higher lows on the daily time frame. Now it is five days in a row. Higher high following through at 64.58. Upper Bollinger Band keeping the price contained a little bit up here, but it is beginning to ascend more rapidly, creating some room for some further upside. And we'll see if we get a bull MACD cross to go along with it. As long as these daily higher lows hold, the bulls are in full control. A break of 64.28 would be the first red flag if that were to occur tomorrow. Weekly time frame, bull flag of healthy consolidation after a couple indecisive weeks leading to continuation with a bull break to higher highs and a new high this week already breaking the high of last week because we closed so strong last week. So the tech sector is still running this market very bullish. Apple pulled back today. There's the potential for a cup and handle pattern where we have our left side, the all-time high resistance, healthy consolidation. The right side is unable to break the left side. We pull back, form a handle, and then break out to all-time highs. That's a possibility, and as long as the middle Bollinger Band is support, that is a potential possibility to be keeping an eye on. If we lose the daily middle Bollinger Band, we're looking down at support of 169.56, and that would be a bit more significant a pullback than the pattern would like to see to remain a handle. So key resistance, 175.50, 175.61. Our new support is 173.34, and this middle Bollinger Band will be in the mid-172s tomorrow. The weekly time frame for Apple, still very strong, holding exponential moving averages. No red flags whatsoever on this weekly chart. It's just a question on the daily chart as to whether or not we can get this new all-time high this week. If we can't get it this week, we're not going to break down without a huge bear event because anything above these lows in the upper 168, keep the higher low pattern intact. And it'll just be an equilibrium pattern at that point if we do pull back down to the low 170s. So high, low, lower high, potential cup and handle. But if we lose the middle Bollinger Band, we'll still be looking for a higher low compared to these levels. Facebook all-time high today. Upper Bollinger Band definitely a factor the last couple of days, but bulls able to push through. We close right above the upper Bollinger Band. And we're keeping higher lows and higher highs in favor of the bulls. 183.73, 184, 185 psychological resistances are the next levels to watch. Hourly 20 period moving average support and the weekly time frame upper Bollinger Band also giving the bulls trouble the last two weeks. That's at 183.54 and we pull back from that level today. So daily and weekly upper Bollinger Bands might be leading to some consolidation from here until we see it show up in XLK with some weakness. These bulls are in full control. We keep hitting all-time highs. Amazon, Google, Facebook, all all-time highs today. Apple got close, not there quite yet. As long as these all-time highs keep coming in these major names, the tech sector is going to hold up just fine. But we're always cautious up here because we have run so significantly on the weekly time frame. And if we do see some significant consolidation, it could easily erase a multiple weeks of upside. So cautious, but still bullish. No slowdown in sight. Blue sky bulls are the best place to be if you are bullish. We'll see you tomorrow.